Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Around 4 as we are playing as Germany. So, before we get started here, I would like to let you guys know what the plan is for the rest of the week, since, as I mentioned in a previous video, we will be taking a vacation. This week, we'll be starting a vacation. Again, it wasn't, wasn't planned because I wouldn't have uh, done it right here in the middle of, of the series, especially when we got all this exciting conflict happening here. Uh, but we did not get much notice, uh, or I didn't get much notice. You know, my wife just kind of had to had to take time off, uh, and I'll go over that uh, in that that last video that we're going to be doing before we take our vacation. I'll discuss at like the end of the episode because I know not everybody cares about such things. Uh, so, like at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys why we kind of were forced to do this. Uh, you know, just with with so little notice. And uh, what, what we're planning on doing for the vacation as well, for those that are interested. So our vacation is starting on the 16th. That'll be this Friday. And so my plan was to do a total of three more videos if you count this one. Uh, so we were going to have the one today here on Wednesday. And then we'd have another video on Thursday. And then I was going to put one on Friday since I would have recorded that on Thursday. However, uh, I actually will not be home at all on Thursday, uh, so I won't be able to put any videos out. Uh, so I will be leaving early in the morning, like before the sun even comes up, and I won't get home until late that night. And my wife won't be here for the majority of the day either, so she couldn't make a video public uh, until that evening. So rather than trying to, to squeeze a video out on Thursday, we just are not going to have any episodes on Thursday. But in order to keep the same amount of videos that I planned, I will just record one on Friday. You know, the, the first day of our vacation, I can record one video. And then I'll put it out on Saturday. Uh, so essentially, we got three more episodes left. Well, you know, two more after this one, I should say. Uh, so, you know, we got this one, and then we'll have one episode on Friday, and then we'll have uh, one episode on Saturday. And that Saturday episode will be the last one until the 28th, which I believe is a Wednesday. I think in total it's like 10 days uh, that we won't have any videos uh, going from that Saturday. Yeah, I believe it should be about 10 days or so. Let's go and get started in today's video. Just want to let you guys know that there won't be a video on Thursday. And there'll only be two left after that. One on Friday and one on one on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I just don't have a lot of money, uh, so unfortunately, I uh, can't can't do anything really amazing. Uh, we did get those two provinces here that we asked Belgium for. Um, doesn't look like they'll give us any more. I don't see why they even feel like they should have any of these <laughs> because this is all our work here. Uh, they have not. I don't know how much war, uh, participation they have from other theaters, but. Yeah, they should not be getting on this territory. It's kind of a bummer when you attack from from their territory that they get control of it all. And then you just gotta hope they give it back to you, which I've noticed that the AI, they seem very hesitant to give you any any territory. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I don't know if you guys noticed that as well, but let's get uh, another destroyer out there. And we now have a ton of steel, so we don't really need to trade for any anymore. I uh, still need to keep trading for the rubber, though. Uh, I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. All right, so they did finish up their defense here. So let's go ahead and push forward and get the new capital there in Bordeaux. And you forgive me if I mispronounce any French words. French is hard. <laughs> it's not a not an easy language. Uh, yeah, I think we're good there. Let's go and dip on over to the Soviet border, see if there's any uh, adjustments to make here. We also want to make sure that these guys are all taking the railroads. They are not. Um, hmm. I threw him on the wrong front there. I'm not totally sure why he's not moving. Yeah, for whatever reason, these guys just don't want to move over here. This doesn't really make any sense. Because I don't think there's any supply issues. They don't have very many units here. So I'm not sure why he didn't want to move. But he was not willing to go anywhere. Let's go ahead and get... You know what? We're going to attack with both of these units here. Because that is a medium tank division. And we have some anti-tanks. So they should be able to penetrate that armor of his, but yeah, give him some assistance. I think would be useful. All right, so they were able to defeat us there. Uh, these guys have been moving for a little while. Uh, we got another unit coming over here. Should be able to stop him. He'll be there before. Yeah, so we just have to keep on getting the organization up here, guys. We're not quite ready to be able to attack there yet. All right, uh, so yeah, looking good on the Soviet front. I'm not pushing forward. I might have missed a couple units, but it's all right. This is kind of the more important front right now because we're trying to get the French defeated get them to uh, capitulate and I might need to come over to this province looks like they're moving some units that would not cut them off because we have that tank unit there that province all right so you're not really able to push forward here at all just yet uh, a big problem here on the French front is that we need troops to move and to get their butts onto the, the fronts 
And let's go on a go here. We'll take this tank unit and get him pushing forward over here. We'll go ahead and go after that air base there. And just kind of slowly getting this territory wrapped up here. And I think he's, yeah, he's going to take care of all that for us. Excellent. All right, so still those four units there. Just looking for uh, other areas we might want to attack from. I think we'll go and attack with this guy. Yeah, we're going to have him destroy that one Soviet division there. Get that done. Uh, there's nobody here, so let's go and have this guy stay here. And then let's push forward. We'll have this guy go up here and attack that unit. And then he will come on all down to this territory. Make sure we protect Kiev. Don't want them to take that from us. We are defending there, but yeah, they're, they're surprisingly doing all right, despite being cut off from supply. All right, so we'll be pushing forward over here. It gives them a little chance to get the organization up, but they don't have any supplies. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's attack here. I don't know if that's a win, but maybe. And then let's get this unit here moving. Uh, we could also conquer all this, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. No, no, no. Let's, let's get them to capitulate. Because then all this territory goes to us rather than the Belgians. Uh, the Belgians. 7th of April, 2300. So, tonight, we'll be able to ask them for more land. I don't know if they'll give us anything. I assume not. I did sink six convoys there. Right, excellent. That's Spanish convoys, I believe. Uh, yes, Spanish convoys. And... What are we looking at here? Naval mode. Let's go back to the infantry mode, land mode. We are winning there. Uh, let's just try and get across this river to get these units cut off here. And this guy's going to push forward up that way, so that works out fine. Just need, uh, again, you're seeing lots of units that have to move over to the border here from, from wrapping those troops up, and they're just not they're just not here yet. And yeah, you see the same thing over here. It's just units moving Let's go ahead and attack there. Again, we cut those units off if we get the win there. And let's just push forward here as well. Or, you know, actually, I guess we'll push forward there because they just took that province from us. All right, so yeah, still trying to get the win there. Attacking uh, from across a river, so it's a rougher fight. Oops. Right, and so he's winning there, so that looks good. Let's go and dip back over to the Soviet front. See how things are going over here. And yeah, we'll go and get across here next. And I'm going to try and attack here and see if he can get the win now. I'm in kind of waiting for, to get his organization back up since what we've been doing there and avoiding attacking. These guys are finally taking attrition now. So that's good to see. No longer have that that supply. Not sure where this guy's going. Uh, but let's stop that madness. And I thought I had sent him down here. He must have got defeated. I think that's what happened. He got defeated in a battle and then... Yeah, we'll have him go over this way then instead. And then this guy here can start pushing forward. Or actually, you know what? Let's get him going over this way to connect with that. All right, let's make sure he's assigned to this though before we do all that. All right, looking good. And these guys here are about to reconnect. I don't know if we'll be able to stop them. Two hours, looks like we should be able to. Yeah, looks like we'll be able to stop them. Alright, excellent. All right. And let's have these guys move over to this front. Or, you know what? Actually, we do need divisions over here. And let's get this guy attacking here. Again, just looking for units not doing nothing. Getting them pushing forward. Uh, let's attack here. And try and get over here. Not that far. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so the border looks good for right now. We did fail in that attack. All right, so that's unfortunate. Let's give him a line so he can get a planning bonus while he waits. And let's have this unit. I mean, I guess he's coming down here. That's fine. Uh, we'll have these guys wrap this up then. And let's see if they'll give us any more territory. You think they might give you something, right? Maybe like one province? Nope. Won't give us a damn thing. Again, they have no rightful claim to this territory. Uh, we did all the work here. This should be ours. It's just the way it works, though. It's not based on who attacked. It's based on what territory you attacked from. And I, I guess it makes borders look better, I suppose. But I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that mechanic, honestly. 
We don't want to get onto the Spanish border. Like, we might be able to advance that way, but the moment we're on the border, the AI gets alerted, and then they start uh, sending troops to the border, and we're not ready for that yet. So let's avoid the Spanish border for right now. Uh, let's go into tank cross here and try and connect with this here. Again, France is just about done for. We were at 90% last time we looked, uh, the previous episode. And so they should be pretty close to being defeated here. Uh, they are beating us there, so let's make sure we help here. That guy did get defeated, so he's on the retreat now. Uh, these guys are all cut off now, so we can start advancing. Although not if they all are leaving. Oops, yeah, we don't move that guy there. Alright, just make sure that we uh, actually have some troops here to push forward. Uh, I don't think these guys are needed here. Let's move them over to that front. Keep these guys here. And these guys. Any mountain troops should be over here. Help us out. So their organization is a little bit too low. So let's just get a planning bonus here. Uh, it looks like we have some Red Army troops that will help us push them back as well. Uh, in fact, we'll have this guy just attack as soon as he, he moves over there. Alright, looking good. Let's go and see what's going on over here. You know, we're going to attack that cab unit. Get them pushed back a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll go and attack over here as well. Again, just cleaning pockets up here at this point. And, you know, we should probably make sure he's assigned here and then have him attack. And there we go. France has just capitulated. So, pretty easy getting France defeated. They weren't too challenging. Uh, Belgium should give us s some damn territory. Like, give me this. All of it. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, they will give us one right there. Wow, that's beautiful. Just one. I'm just trying to clean up the borders a little bit. Let me see how the best way to go about doing that would be. Uh, yeah. I, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's we'll take this one, I suppose. Just kind of slowly take them back as we get our war participation up. I can see if they'll give us anything else because it is based on how they, uh, the AI values these provinces. Like how many points it's worth. Alright, so we'll just take that one for now. Just keep on sending them uh, request. Alright, so Fa France capitulated. That means all the divisions here have been uh, dealt with. And so now we're going to want to take the Red Army, or no, 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 the Purple Army is the one that's going to be doing this task and get them assigned over to here. Now we can't have just a few units just to uh, finish this up here. You know, we don't want to use the uh, Mountain Troop. We want to get them down there as quickly as possible. Let's go and have these guys come over here, although I think they're now set to retreat. Okay, that's weird, but all right, so Purple Army's coming down here. And then I think what we're going to do here is take the Red Army and move them over to the Eastern Front. I'm hoping one army can do this if it's a full-size army. So we'll just move all the mountain troops over there. And then maybe, like, tank units as well. And then the rest would be these infantry here. How many do we need? We need one more. Alright, and then we'll give him a planning bonus. And then the rest of the Red Army will help us clean up any uh, areas here. And then we'll send them off to another front. Uh, so we also have... Where's Rommel's army? Uh, Rommel's tank army. Oh yes, that's right. We talked about doing the, the naval invasion here of Britain. So we could do that with the Red Army. Let them train up. And then uh, we'll send more divisions to them. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll keep them here. Uh, after they finish this up and uh, start working on naval invasions, getting that planned. Let's finish this up first. What we could do is just take one division and get him planning. So at least it's uh, we're starting to plan it. See where we want to attack. I feel like you got to do the channel since it's the only area that we currently control. So it needs to be somewhere that it hopefully isn't fortified. Like Plymouth. Yeah, maybe Plymouth. I guess there's not. Of course, Dover's fortified. There's not. They haven't done the uh, the focus that that fortifies these. Okay, so in that case, you can really attack anywhere. You're probably gonna want a larger port. So maybe right there, and maybe get two planning. Yeah, we'll do two. Uh, so let's take one division here, and we will attack from Dunkirk, and then we're gonna hit them up right here. Let's hope that it's not well defended. And then we're gonna take one more of those small divisions there, and get him to landing over here. And we'll do right here, so we're not going across this area. 
this is a whole different season. All right, so just get those planning for right now while the rest of the Red Army takes care of these uh, situations here. And then we didn't give the Green Army an order yet. I think what we're gonna do is send some of these over to the Eastern Front and the rest we'd wanna keep over here. I suppose you can keep Rama over here to help in Spain. Yeah, I guess that's that's an option. All right, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna take this medium tank though and send him over here because I feel like we need more units here. Is it this army? Yeah, it's this army. Yeah, so this front is just absolutely massive for those few units. Uh, let's see if he's got any traits to get. He doesn't. All right, so Rommel with his light tanks will give him uh, two fronts actually to go down the coast. Oops, that's not how we wanted to do that. And that's a bit wide. All right, so I have like two tanks going down this one, and the other three will go down here. We're gonna make sure they have a planning bonus. All right, excellent. So yeah, they'll get moving down there, and we'll, we'll push forward immediately, as soon as I can get there. Uh, we do have to get somebody over here, though, so let's have him attack right there. I want to use that tank unit for it. All right, excellent. And uh, just to get these little pockets wrapped up, shouldn't take too long. Uh, we do have military factories and dockyards to get assigned, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, as far as like what we want to assign this to, I mean, again, the rubber is just such a, an issue. I think we're gonna do, how are we doing on the artillery, the self-propelled artillery? 97 there, how about the lights? Yeah, we actually have a, quite a bit for the light tanks, uh, light self-propelled artillery, so we could probably pull back on that. A little bit. Yeah, we'll pull back a little bit on that. Give us some extra factories here. I'm gonna put one into the medium. I know we're doing all right on that, but again, looking for stuff that we don't have to use uh, rubber for. I guess we can get like infantry equipment updated. That helps. Um, artillery is always needed, but we're actually good right now. Uh, maybe anti tanks. Again, just trying to avoid the the rubber problems. So yeah, we'll do ten. There we go. Uh, so, need to trade for more tungsten. And let's also take a look at what our factories are doing. Okay, they're, they're all right. Uh, we can go ahead and, and continue getting resources though in locations that have a lot. Of course, we don't hold a lot of these provinces, unfortunately, because the Belgians still, still have it. Uh, we'll see if there's any territory here that we took from the Soviets. Looks like that's a no. Uh, we never did assign the dockyard. Uh, let's put that into submarines. Let's take a look at our ships. We we didn't get very far in the last episode, guys. We made it... I think we made it one week. That was it. Uh, only one week. So, uh, quite slow going when you control all these fronts. It's uh, really, really slow. Let's get some of these light cruisers pulled out and put into that patrol one. Yeah, especially like that one. It looks like he's more of a something for place in mines. I suppose we could always have him do that. Start place in mines. If it's gonna even be necessary. Might not. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know if we can like get those guys defeated. We'll go ahead and try. Uh, Cause yeah, they're on neutral territory. Cause remember, Finland has not been pulled into this war yet. And that's seven units that could be destroyed. So, you know, I'm going to send like two units to make sure it gets done. Because that's important. Especially to have that happen before... The, uh... uh before Finland gets pulled into conflict. Just kind of clean this up a little bit. Yeah, we have all kinds of issues here. Units moving in weird locations. Yeah, all kinds of weird shit happening. Alright, so that guy's taking care of that force. Losing that defense there. Two units moving over there, so we can go ahead and move one down here. In fact, let's move this weaker unit down there, so that he can attack that way. Start those battles up. All right, we are winning there. Uh, looks like we've destroyed most of the units over there. All right, excellent. And he is advancing over this way. Okay, so we don't want it to do it that way. We want to do it this way. And across. All right, excellent. So we'll take care of that for us. And I think we already have an order for him as well. Yeah, he's advancing, but we somebody took this territory, so there's a quick way to do that now. All right, uh, so yeah, just moving all the troops over here. 
and as soon as they get there, we'll uh, get them pushing, pushing down into to Spanish territory that will hopefully be undefended. I guess we'll see. And just getting these little pockets here wrapped up. Uh, when can we ask for territory again? 10th of April. We'll see if they won't give us something. Because we deserve it. Alright, so any troops that are signed here that aren't this guy. Which would be a guy who's currently attacking, so we have to wait. Oh wait, nope, he's right here. Alright, excellent. Yeah, this is looking good. Uh, so he's going to take this for us. Let's then have him go over this way. And just thicken this up. And have this guy push over here. I guess he can wrap all that territory up for us. And just make sure we don't have any units doing the same thing here. All right, excellent. Uh, so we got a unit over here. Let's have... Okay, so he's already attacking there. Should be able to get them destroyed. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's actually have this guy go over here. I don't know where he's currently assigned. Let's make sure he goes there. Uh, we'll have to finish that defense up now. That's okay. Yeah, let's just have him start moving up along the coast here. The Spanish are going to be there soon. As you can see, as soon as we had uh, a border with them, they start moving troops there, which I was trying to avoid. But, of course, they capitulated, so. All right, so just getting those pockets over there still wrapped up. He's cleaning that up for us. I don't know what the hell's happening here. Like, why aren't these guys doing anything? <laughs> yeah, they're, like, not doing anything. They haven't really been helping. Uh, overall, our uh, allies have been pretty useless. Uh, they've helped in... In uh, Africa. But outside of that, I haven't really seen them help at all. Yeah, the, you know, we've seen them invade Egypt and they've been fighting in other areas of Africa, I think. But uh, not much else. I haven't been doing much else. Uh, that tank might be able to win on his own, but let's make sure we, we, we get that done because it's too many units to, to let just sit there. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what's happening over here. This guy's almost there. It's not defended. Uh, we do have one Spanish division there, though. And then let's go ahead and make sure that these guys push forward here and then start pushing up along the coast here. Alright, they'll go after Barcelona. Now we're slowly getting those troops over there. And then these Red Army troops don't have an order, so let's go ahead and fix that. And we're going to set them up to train. Remember, we made those adjustments to those divisions, so they lost some of their experience. And speaking of adjustments, we actually have some Army experience, so we're going to need to do that. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this uh, going here. Let me see how we're looking. We got this guy here. Let's have a... Uh... You know what? Let's do this here. That's three. And three going over there. And you know what? We might not do it quite like that. That's seven and seven. I, I guess what we'll do is... uh. We'll leave it like that. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, we'll let them train up. And let's go and make another adjustment. I think we had one more thing left to do here. Yeah, just getting this changed over to the medium self railed artillery. Uh, and then, of course, we still have to get the uh, support companies. But I prefer to finish up the divisions that we have more of, like the Republican Guard here, which is, is not quite done. We still have one more uh, spot to add for the support companies. And we're going to do the logistics. I think that would be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and do logistics, guys. They, they consume a lot of supply, so it'll be helpful. So let's go and save that. And that leaves us with 23 experience. We haven't finished up the mountain divisions or the light tanks. I guess we'll do light tanks first. Uh, we still need to get them two support companies. Uh, we want field hospitals for them. And let's see what the last one's going to be. Probably logistics. I'm kind of worried about the supply in certain fronts. So I think logistics would be uh, good. Yeah, we'll do logistics here. So and save that, and that's all of our experience. See if these guys, yeah, they're still training. All right, it's kind of a. Uh, see if there's any territory we can take easily enough. Oh, uh, you know, what? actually, let's move this guy over here. Uh, it looks like they're about to reconnect here. That's a problem. So let's have him come over to this front and stop that from happening. We'll get that knocked out, and let's go and push forward here. And we'll grab that province as well. And then somebody can take care of this. We already have somebody doing it. Excellent. Alright, he's grabbing all this territory here for us. And he's pushing forward over there. Alright, it's looking good. 
Let's have this guy attack here. Again, gotta get this uh, all wrapped up. Right. Attack right there. Now slowly get this right, done here. We'll push forward here. Again, because our allies are not helping here. I I'm not entirely sure why they're not doing anything. They're just kind of sitting passively. We've got more factories. I think this support equipment's gonna be a serious issue now. Just keep making these adjustments to our division design. So yeah, we're gonna be really short on the equipment for quite some time, I think. Uh, oil's holding out. Uh, this guy can't attack. We're gonna stop this. Stop the madness, man. Uh, but we could be pushing forward on other fronts. So let's go ahead and do that. Let that guy move and just kind of find areas where there's, you know, a division that can, can push forward here. I do not want to have to fight them in the mountains if we can avoid it. So hopefully we can. All right. Uh, so Rommel's got some of his tanks over there to help us out. Hopefully he do, does well with that. And I guess he can go there. That's fine. All right. So he's taking that air base. Lovely. And ton of division just kind of sitting here not doing anything. So let's go ahead and get him, get him help, helping us out there. I'm going to have this guy push forward here. Should get at least a little bit of organization there. And we'll have this guy attack over here next. And... Send one unit over there. Just get that province taken. And also one unit over here. Or actually, you know, let's take this guy. Oh, that is not the right front. Uh, where is the right front? This one? Yeah, okay, so this needs to be increased, I think. <laughs> yeah, clearly it does. Uh, let's go ahead and get them over here. Maybe that's what's causing issues over here. Doesn't help we have two blue fronts over there. That's kind of confusing. We kind of moves some things around, though, and that's how that ended up happening in that way. Let's see if we can't just push forward here without anybody defending. Uh, we, we wanted to make sure we don't attack in, in locations where they are defending. If we can avoid it. Because again, these mountain territories can be difficult to get through. And it looks like they built forts as well, making it even more difficult. Um, Belgium apparently wasn't in a conflict. And I'm going to try and ask them for more territory, guys. They look like they're not really inclined to give us anything. Okay. I just don't know why they think they have the right to that, that land. Uh, the AI again, they used to be a little bit more like open to giving you territory when you're the one that took it. Uh, but yeah, that has not been the case in uh, more recent versions, I've noticed. So I just kind of clean this up again. Could continue pushing forward, but yeah, we really need to get this cleaned up a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get across here and grab the port. Or, you know, we'll go to the airbase. And get that port taken there. We need to get over here to the, the oil fields. That would be really helpful. All right, so just making sure all of our units are moving here, advancing. And what we really want to do is get these guys here cut off. So let's see if we can't make that happen. Got Still got to get Barcelona, of course. But. All right, so he'll go over here. This guy's going to push up along the coast. Well, this unit here will go this way. All right, excellent. Again, kind of avoiding attacking into these, these forts. If we had high organization, then I would attack because they have low organization, so it would be one way to easily get the forts, but that is not the case, so... Right, so right, let's go and push forward here. Get that province, and we'll try and cut off the, the units that are over here. That looks like it should be successful, which is good. Glad to see. And that should be successful as well, so I don't think this unit will be needed. So let's just go ahead and push forward here. Try and get some uh, some provinces, get some victory points. Attack right there as well. Let's try and get that guy wrapped up. And take all the units here. Don't need to be over there. Get them assigned somewhere else. Uh, somebody else can wrap that up. Just get it cleaned up. All right, looking good. This guy here, I don't know what he's done, but let's have him take some territory here. Let's get these pockets taken care of. And we were successful here, and it looks like we're going to be successful getting back here as well. Uh, might even be able to go ahead and get Barcelona from behind. 
uh, which would be great, so that'll cut those units off there. Uh, let's go ahead and get across the river here, start going after some of these victory points. Alright, looking good. Uh, they're trying to move troops over here to stop us, so yeah, definitely need to make as fast as progress as we can. We did win there, we had to fight them there. That wasn't the best way for, for that to go down, but we won, so that's, that's what's important. Okay, so this is now kind of the main front. Just trying to get this wrapped up here. And he does not have a a line here, so that's causing some issues. I know he's already moving. Let's go this way so we're actually taking territory, and then we'll grab that. Alright, um, so we won there. That's good. Let's go ahead and... I mean, these guys are cut off, so it doesn't really matter how we do it. We just need to get them destroyed. Uh, let's go and attack there. Uh, it's two units, so it might have some difficulty, but it looks like it's fine. And yeah, I just can't tell which one is which now. Uh, I wasn't considering changing that color up since it is kind of confusing. But they were supposed to be up here, uh, but now the, the tank front is, is way down here. So that's the reason why that's kind of messed up. Yeah, we are in prime position to be cut off here. If they just... Uh, took advantage of the situation. Oh, so we have Barcelona. Okay, so let's go and push up the coast now. Same thing with this unit here. Start getting all this taken care of. And uh, we're going to attack right there. I don't know if they'll be able to win, but uh, you can see that they're about to reconnect this here, so this is a problem. Uh, we are attacking them there, so that might lock them down long enough. Come on, Herbal Army. You gotta get your butts over here quickly. They're not moving quick enough. Alright, uh, so this guy here can now cut off this unit here. Let me see how long it takes for him to get there. 20 hours? Oh, we might have to tag him then. Yeah, we'll have to tag him. I don't know if we can win it. Yeah, he's about to get himself cut off. All right, so this guy can now move over to this front. Since we did finish up those seven Soviet divisions, completely destroyed. I didn't look at the casualties last episode. It's kind of in a hurry to get that that one ended. So yeah, I didn't look at the casualties. We'll have to take a peek at that. Actually, you know, let's go this way. So yeah, at the end of this one, we'll we'll take a look and see how how things are going. Uh, we'll have this tank unit come over here. Let's get this territory wrapped up. Oh, come on over here. Get that done. Yeah, lots of tanks sitting around here. And get all this uh, territory taken. And yeah, he's getting that done for us. That division, or those two divisions, should be destroyed soon. All right, so let's see how we want to go about doing this. Let's have this guy cut that unit off there, those two units off there. Uh, he's probably not going to win. Yeah, so let's go ahead and stop that. Stop the madness. Maybe have him come over here, get that uh, thickened up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and start shooting towards Madrid. Alright, so he's going to come over that way while he's coming towards Valencia. Man, these guys are cut off, but I still want to avoid attacking the mountains if we can. But if they're really weak, then yeah, there's really no reason not to uh, get the attacks going. Because you got to get it cleaned up, eventually. So yeah, not uh, not easy attacks here, guys. In the mountains. In, in fortified mountains at that. Somebody's got to do it. And they are cut off, so at least we have that advantage. Okay, looking good. We do have some dockyards. Or at least one dockyard. Uh, we'll put it into the destroyers. Right, so that's looking good. Uh, very close to Moscow, so let's see if we can't just grab it and grab their uh, grab their capital. I'll uh, move over there. Oh yes, that's right. We're trying to cut those units off there once we take this province here. All right, so that looks good. And again, just trying to get some of this territory taken here. We'll have this guy go here instead. Since there's uh, a lot of territory here to kind of thicken up. Uh, we did finish up some of these areas, so we can now move uh, some of the planes over. Uh, and we can even move some of these guys that just in the closer regions, I suppose. Uh, and then also, the planes over here should move into Spain. And yeah, that would all make things a little bit smoother as well. Okay, so with these guys here, let's see how we want to go about doing this. So I think that this is the, uh, yeah, that's the tactical bomber. All right, well, that's fine. We'll keep him up there. And 
Let's move this guy over to here with uh, the fighter. Right, excellent, because you see we're having some difficulty there. All right, so that's all the planes over here, and then we need to move the, the planes over here. Double silence here. And same thing, I'm not sure where these units are here, so let's just get them moving. All right, excellent. So that should help quite a bit, since we don't actually have uh, any air support here. All right, so we took that province over here, so he'll be advancing over this way. I'm not sure who the hell's assigned to this, but that's madness. Oh, there we go. All right. So these guys aren't doing anything, so let's get them uh, taking some territory here. All right, yeah, just making really good progress here and just not a, a lot of resistance, frankly. It's just, uh, yeah, there's just nothing here to really stop us. The, the Soviets had a lot of troubles, um, and a, a big part of that is this front here. And it does look like they're starting to lose a little bit more uh, territory over here. But yeah, that's that's a big part of it, guys. Uh, so that's there. They're on that other front. As far as how our allies are doing over here, you see that you know Sweden did that invasion. They're getting a lot of assistance from other countries, though. So this is not just Sweden. They're now pushing up into Syria, also pushing down further south. Uh, Africa is definitely a three-way war here. We have all three sides all fighting over Africa. And then this is that mess that was created because of uh, having the open borders there. And I wonder if we can get over here first, just trying to grab provinces easily. No. Uh, so let's attack here. And again, just trying to like, you know, actually, let's go, hmm, let's go this way. Go over here and see if we can't do something that way. And he is advancing towards Valencia. Excellent. Uh, we'll see if this tank unit can't get over here first. He should be able to. And yeah, they're gonna try and take off here, so we can't allow that to happen. We need to get more troops over here, though, guys. Yeah, we need a lot more troops. All right, and so those guys are over there as well. Could have sent that army down there, I suppose, but I really wanted to get that planning. I guess you didn't need to have him assigned to get it planned, but I don't know where he's going. Let's just keep him on this front. We'll bring him down here so they can advance forward. Although it looks like we already have somebody there, so let's have him go over here then. All right, so got units moving, except for these. You know, we have enough units here. So that's fine, he can come down here, I suppose. Somebody needs to get down here. Yeah, it's just kind of wild. It's wild right now, guys. Uh, how are we doing here? We have, uh, how many units assigned here? Four? I feel like that's probably enough to get this job done. We could do one more. Let me just see who's currently assigned there. See if there's any we can pull. Yeah, it's just these four divisions, so let's take this guy and have him come over here. Give him five divisions. Just get it done a little bit more efficiently. And a little bit quicker. Alright, good progress being made all throughout here. It does look like we're about to lose that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because, yeah, he would end up cutting us off. Oh, we won. Just barely. Uh, so, we did get another military factory, or more military factories. Uh, let's see where I'm going to put these again, just trying to avoid the rubber, which everything we need needs rubber, so it's, it's unfortunate. I guess we'll just do a 10 into the medium self propelled artillery for right now. Yeah, that doesn't need rubber. And. Let's take a look at the resource situation, because yeah, it looks like we can actually stop trading for for some chromium, but we need more uh, tungsten. Alright, looks good. Just rubber. It's the only issue. So moving towards Madrid, uh, I guess we'll have to Toledo next. I mean, again, they're just not really able to, to handle our, our tanks. They had plenty of warning. I really don't have any compassion here for the Spanish. They had a lot of warning that we were coming. They knew it was happening, and they didn't uh, react to it. They didn't do anything. Now, right, let's go and start pushing forward here. Right, we'll go this province. Yeah, we'll go that one. And grab this real quick, and you know what? I'm going to go across the river here. I know it's not the best way to do that, but I need to get some of this. I need to get this wrapped up, guys. All right, let's go and push forward here. Going after these victory points, getting the Spanish knocked out of the conflict. Uh, overall, it's been uh, pretty easy. Everybody we fight, we've just been rolling over. And a big part of that, I think, is the three-way war. I think that's a major reason why we've been so successful. 
I don't have a front here. Yeah, I think they're just all messed up due to the, uh, the three-way conflict. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here. So taking that territory. And uh, pushing forward here. And... Oh, he's already cutting units off. You know what? It's probably better going this way. And we'll go ahead and start pushing back now. And almost have Moscow, the uh, Soviet capital, just about grabbed now, guys. So that's fantastic news. That's going to be big for us. We've got a nice little event when that happens, so we'll know. Let's go and dip back over to the Spanish front, and we have finally been stopped. While going after Toledo. You know, I'm not entirely sure why these guys are not, like, accepting orders to stop. Uh, they're just very, uh, very ambitious and excited. Uh, let's stretch up the stretch out the green front I'll cross here now right. they'll just wherever they're at is where they'll they'll be Ungetreten. all right we'll try and cut that unit off there and uh, let's Absolutely. go and grab this province here let's get these guys destroyed and let's Ungetreten. try and make it's a little bit prettier here I'm gonna grab that province and this guy can just go after that one for right now Still haven't wiped out that those two units there. We wiped out one of them. All right, looking good. Uh, we'll wait until he leaves Toledo, I suppose. Ah, this guy can be very easily uh, cut off. So you know, let's try and, and get this connected. We now have Valencia. Let's just keep on going along the coast. And in that case, we'd want to go this way. Try and connect here, I suppose. We all are relevant though if we get all their vic victory points and it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Alright, so yeah, I just need to clean up that mountain area. Alright, so we have Moscow. We didn't get an event about it. Okay, thought we would have got an event that says we uh, had seized control of Moscow. Uh, we did not. Alright, so we're going to push forward over here and uh, get these military factories assigned. Yeah, we'll do the uh, support equipment since we're so short on that. And we have the resources for support equipment, so... It's not one of those things that we're we're short on. Alright, so he's already going over there. And yeah, that's right, he's going up along the, the Black Sea coast there. Need to get these units here wrapped up. So let's like start working on that. Again, these guys are cut off, cut off, so you don't have to so much work on cutting them off again. And let's have this guy attack here since I right, clearly can't do it on Zlonsome. Just too much for him. Ah, one of our generals got wounded. I didn't see which one, though. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, let's go and attack over here. I don't know how well that's going to go, but... Let's go here and here. And... Let's get these guys help us out. Get all this territory taken. And there we go. Now we got the event for the fall of Moscow. It took a little while. We actually left Moscow already. All right, well, we got the event finally. Everything's kind of moving a little bit slower, honestly. Uh, we did get cut off here. All right, well, let's go and fix that. Although I was really trying to get this done. Damn, yeah, that sucks. All right, so we gotta come back to get that done. Or what we could do is go across here because that unit is leaving. Just try and separate these two. Just not enough units here, guys. It's just not working here. All right, so trying to clean this up. Let's have uh, this guy go here. Again, these guys aren't going to do well in this terrain, but this is just about getting the win here. Just got to get this done as quickly as we can. And we more, need more troops over here because you see that they're, they're starting to like finally close it up and react to what we've been doing here. Yeah, they are starting to get troops here. The Soviets are sending troops here as well. I don't know why. They should be defending their own damn territory. Uh, that would be a wise thing to do right now. Uh, but instead, they're over here worried about what the hell we're doing. Yeah, need lots of uh, support equipment. And we're going to need even more as we make adjustments. But you know what? We're not going to make any more adjustments right now, guys. Because we got enough crap going on. Let's go and see if we can't get that guy destroyed. He is cut off. But uh, might not be able to do it. Yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit. How much time do we have before he gets out of there? we got plenty. Plenty of time. 
All right, let's go ahead and have this guy stay here. Uh, we'll grab that airbase, kind of help our planes out. Since I'm sure they are outnumbered. And I'll push forward here. Let's continue pushing forward, getting all this territory taken. All right, so everybody should be wrapping this up here. All right, so that looks good. Uh, this unit here is, uh, we'll have them take care of this territory. I'm not entirely sure where all these units are. So let's just stop this and have this one guy come take care of that for us. All right, so we almost have that. Excellent. Um, let's, I guess we should race across. Yeah, I suppose that would be the best way to do this. To just, like, stop them from even coming down here and defending the territory. Obviously not very practical to be racing across like that. I mean, you can see how we're trying to make this maneuver and get these guys here cut off. We just don't have the units uh, for doing it just yet. Because we got to get some of this territory here wrapped up before we can. Yeah, some of this has got to be uh, finished up first. See what we did in the channel. We're back to sinking some British convoys, uh, but their fleet has wisely hidden from us. Uh, they don't. They don't want any of it, guys. They are uh, tired. Tired of fighting us in the seas, apparently. All right, let's have this guy go over here next. Not sure that we have enough units. We have that guy coming to help. Yeah, that might be enough uh, to get that finished up. We'll see. Let's have these guys come on over to this province, kind of help us out down there. Although, that is not right. Okay, I see what we did here. Let's get them coming over there. Alright, let's go ahead and have these guys attack over here. And not going to defend that, so we'll get him moving. Alright, so that's almost done there. Um, let's have him go here, and then he'll go over here. Alright, so that's looking good. Again, just looking for units sitting around not doing anything. Got Kursk, so let's go ahead and push to the next victory point. And these guys could also be pushing to Stalingrad. Just the quickest route, whatever the quickest route is. We'll take that for us. Alright, let's get these guys destroyed. We'll have uh, him push forward there as well. And let's just go ahead and shift over to going here now. Again, just not enough divisions here, guys, uh, to cover this. Uh, these guys have reconnected it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm having some difficulty here. And failed there, but I think we should be able to get this done here and get these guys cut off right here. So that advancing will be a little bit easier. Um, let's go here. We'll let that attack continue for right now. And yeah, just to take some of these, these provinces here. Alright, looking good. Yeah, that's great. Probably don't even need all these divisions here to do this task, I don't think. So let's take these two and have them start moving over here. So clearly we need more divisions to get that done. Alright, let's go and dip back on over to the Soviet border. See what's going on over there. Uh, we did get a little bit of a rest, so let's go ahead and try and attack there now. And also, we've taken all this, so let's have... Let's gotta go here and cut those guys off, and then go after Tula. And just looking for other divisions sitting around not doing nothing. We'll go ahead and finish that up there. Alright, so that looks good. Alright, so yeah, this is... It's getting better. It's getting better, guys. Uh, so he's coming over this way, so we'll have him go that way, and then we'll have this guy go up here. And, okay, so that should be done as well soon. And let's see what's going on here. Still need to destroy the divisions there. Uh, push him forward there. Need to get these guys reconnected as well. So far doing all right in that effort. This should actually connect us here. Alright, beautiful. Yeah, this is looking good. 
Oh, uh, this guy could be pushing forward. Again, gotta get this reconnected here. And so now it's just a matter of getting these divisions here finished up. And so should have that done soon. There we go. Excellent. So now they'll be able to move over to this front here. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, and we'll just go right there for now. And just kind of continue thickening this up so that when they reconnect, it'll be easier to keep them cut off from uh, the two sides here. Let's go and attack here. See if that ends up being successful. Yeah, looks like it's it's going to be good. Let's go and attack here just because that unit right there is really, really weak. Just about got that done. Excellent. Yeah, this is, is surprisingly going quite well. I thought the invasion of Spain was going to be a little bit more difficult than it has been because of the terrain. But they didn't react to, like, the obvious situation there. Like, that, you know, the French were going to be capitulated. They didn't really do anything about that. They didn't really seem to care. Game has been moving pretty slow. I don't know if this because it's speed 2. I must never play on speed 2. Uh, we can probably speed this up now because we don't have the three fronts going. I feel like we can we can do this a little bit faster. And let's have this guy go this way instead. Alright, and then him. See where he's going. He's taking care of that, so we'll have this guy take care of all this territory. All right, so since we need to take a look at the casualties, guys, we're going to have to stop here. That's very exciting. we got this Spanish invasion going. It's going well. It's going quite well. Um, let's go and attack right there. Yeah, it's, it's exciting here, but yeah, we, we unfortunately do have to, to end it. We're looking at 60% uh, to get the Soviets capitulated. Uh, the Spanish are 80%. It'll be a little bit easier to capitulate the Soviets than normal because they've lost those victory points on the Eastern Front. Yeah, the Chinese, 45%. Mongolia is 20%. Uh, let's look at our own casualties. We're now at 48,000. 16 and a half of that was done by the Soviets. Only 15,000 by the French. 13.3 for the Italians. And 1.7 thousand for Spain. Just looking at our allies, you can see they're getting a lot of war participation because of their high casualties. Although, Sweden did conquer Egypt. So they did get some occupation points there. Yeah, but 68,000 for them, 254,000 for Belgium. That's probably why I'm surprised they've taken such high casualties. I wonder where they've been at fighting. So that's probably why they don't want to give us any territory, because they have 3% war participation. Uh, the Dutch also have 3%, 49,000 casualties here. 24,000 for Norway, 21 for Denmark. 89,000 casualties for the Mexicans. I assume some of that was in the seas, getting their uh, troops sunk. They've been helping out over there in the... The Asian theater as well. United States is sitting at 328,000 casualties. So they're the ones that are really causing our casualties to be as high as they are right now. Because they've taken a lot of casualties against the Japanese. You know, Japan's been kicking butt over there. So that's... Uh, they really need our assistance, uh, frankly. Now, if we look at how the enemy is doing... Of course, we already saw that Soviets will be capitulating probably rather soon. Maybe next episode. Uh, they're getting 17% of their war participation, and they have uh, 1.39 million casualties, which we did 1.3 of that. So almost all of the Soviet casualties, despite the fact that they've killed quite a few of some of our allies here, we have uh, the majority of the, the casualties caused. The U.S. has 11,000, uh, but yeah, 1.3 million. Uh, that's just from us. And uh, we've done fantastic in that guard. Look, look, look at the, the kill-death ratio. This is stupidly insane. 16.5 thousand. To 1.3 million. I don't know if we've ever seen anything quite like that. That might be the highest kill-death ratio I've seen. I don't know. That's that's insane. Now you'd have to do the math to see exactly what it is, but it's like a stupidly high number. Uh, Spain. Uh, so they didn't take in 133,000 casualties. We did 122,000 of that to them, uh, while they did only uh, 1.7 thousand to us. We've actually fought Chinese troops. Actually, I have seen some of those Chinese troops. I think we sunk some of the sea as well. Uh, so we did almost all the casualties to communist China. You know, of course, this doesn't count the fascist uh, war with the, the communists. Uh, let's see, the Mongolians, looks like Belgium, did a little bit of damage to them. And then looking at the Anglo-Italian Pact. Uh, so, Holland, I think that number has gotten a bit higher than it was before. So, must have fought more of their troops. Uh, the Italians, that definitely looks a little bit higher than it was before. The United States did a lot of casualties to them. I wonder if that was, like, in Libya or somewhere in Africa. Uh, Japanese, 318,000 casualties. 
we are not even registering on there, so we, you can see we, we've barely fought them at all. Belgium apparently has been super helpful over there. Again, that's probably why they have that war participation they currently have. India is 32,000 casualties so far. British, 448,000 casualties. We did 177,000. Uh, the United States has done almost as much uh, against them as we have, 146,000. What's interesting is it looks like they've lost some land here. Are the... Are the Canadians in the war now? It sure seems like it. Why we'll don't take a look at that? It seems like the Canadians are in the war now. Uh, we'll take a peek. Yeah, because Canada has been pulled in. They're 97% towards capitulation. I must have missed that notification. So they have been pulled into the conflict. And it's actually been the Dutch that have done the most damage to them, not the United States. Wasn't that strange? Okay. Let's see what the hell's going on over here. They must have done a naval invasion here. Yeah, that would explain that. They have uh, advanced from Alaska, but they're not pushing forward across any of this front for whatever reason. It's open, but they haven't. But they have taken uh, some territory over here. Yeah, this is kind of going crazy. Because this is a, a three-way war here. You have all, all the three factions fighting here in Canada. A very interesting conflict happening in Canada right now. All right, this is the situation in Africa. And Asia, all you need to know is the Japanese are dominating. And the Japanese are kicking butt over here. All right, so that is going to be the end of today's episode. Remember, we will not have a video on Thursday. And we'll be returning with the series on Friday. We'll have two more videos before we go on our vacation. Uh, so that'll be on Friday and Saturday. And then uh, we'll be going on vacation where we won't have videos for, I think, 10 days. And then we'll return with the series on that Wednesday, which I believe is the 28th. And so I do hope to see you guys on that next episode on Friday. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.